how to fix failed to start process for this game's team. To resolve this error, you can follow several troubleshooting methods here, but I'm going to show you a different here. Verify game file. So for example, I just downloaded the update of a GTA. Just go to your library. Now, for example, I'm getting issues in GTA 5. Now, how you can fix this? So right click on it, go to the properties here. Now go to the install files. Click on verify integrity of game files. So what will happen if there's any kind of damage files, it will you know, repair those files instantly. I mean, obviously it will take five to 10 minutes depending upon how big the game is. So you have to do this and usually it will fix this error. Now run as an administrator, right? So for example, I have a GT here. So if there's an option, right click on it and there's a new option to run as administrator, but try to open the Steam and then just go and click on play. In this way, we will be able to fix this problem. Now, but if you're getting this option, right click and uh, you know run as administrator, you can always do so. For example, I get this option here, so I'll just do this. If you're not getting this option, that's fine, not an issue. Now clear your Steam cache. Now how you can do this? So, so just go to the Steam installation files and delete the app cache folder, restart Steam afterwards, which can help clear up various issues, right? Now, if you play any of the game of, of EA, right? So if, you, if your game requires EA Play, ensure this is properly installed and updated. Sometimes launching this EA app before starting the game can resolve conflicts. So for example, if you play some games of Ubisoft or you know for different publishers, Rockstars, right? So make sure you open that first and then open the game. Right? In this way, you can minimize this uh, issue. Check for background process. If you right click on it on the taskbar, just go to the task manager and see that the game should be the only main important application which should be running. There should be no any other, you know, big heavy software should be running in the background if your system cannot handle it. Now make sure you update your Windows and driver, you know, on time because this will fix some of these errors of the Windows because as we know, Windows 11 is a little bit buggy as compared to the other Windows. So this is how you can do so. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe.